Hello, my name is Mira Hoffman, and in this video we're going to be covering some wonderful Thai massage stretches for the legs to help you relieve low back pain or any leg tension. So we'll begin by scooping up underneath the ankles and just tractioning the legs downwards, just resetting the hips. We'll lower one leg down, so um, if you're working with a female client, we'll stay with the left leg and I'm going to come to the outside of her leg, scooping up underneath the knee, and then I'm going to slowly bring her leg into a nice figure four. So kind of bending the knee up and then letting the leg splay outwards. So we'll come to place one hand, our um, outer hand, on uh, the thigh just above the knee, and then our opposite hand is going to go to the opposite hip. And we're just going to press down and keeping with our series of three so second one going a little bit deeper and then third one feeling it out maybe you need to back off a little bit or maybe you can go a little bit deeper from here we'll begin simultaneously palm pressing down and up the thigh so with the hand on the extended leg we're working downwards first and then back up and on the bent leg, we're working up and then back down, ending again at that nice opening in the thigh. How's that feeling? Great. From here, I can even bring both hands over to the folded leg, really leaning my weight in a little bit more. You can also butterfly press, which means kind of bringing your wrists together and the fingers go out. And you're really covering the full surface of those adductors, working about two thirds, three fourths of the way up the thigh, and then coming back down. You can also press out the inside of the calf and the inside of the foot. From here, I'm going to move her foot out just a little bit. So now her leg is a little bit more open. I'm going to place myself in between. And I'm going to bring my feet in to the thigh and the hamstrings. So one hand is at the ankle of the extended leg. The other hand is at the ankle of the bent leg, just kind of tractioning it downwards. And we're called this the paddle boat because it's like I'm paddling away, pressing into the hamstrings, the inside of the thigh a little bit. This feels really yummy, just kind of mushing the leg. And I'm walking the feet kind of up and down between the knee and about three fourths of the way up to the inside of the thigh and back down and once you come back to the crux of the knee we're going to bring the client's foot and wrap it around both of your legs and then you're going to just gently reposition your stance so scooting your stance out a little bit more wide and then I'm going to reach my hands over the tops of the thigh and as I do that I'm just going to bring both hands around the top of the thigh and then lean back it's almost like I'm rowing back so as I'm kind of rowing backwards I can use my fingers as a more flat surface to just kind of press onto the tops of the thigh and the outer thigh or I can wrap my fingers a little bit more so they make more of a curved focused pressure and again, leaning my weight back, so not using really my arms to do the work, but rather my whole body. And after I've done more of that specific work with the fingers, I'll come back to more of a flat surface. Working up and down. And then we'll end with some nice gentle fists 
kind of pounding and loosening tops of the thigh. And we'll place the heel back down and rotate the knee upwards into the air. And I'll stabilize the knee or stabilize the ankle by placing my knees on either side of the client's ankle. And then from here, we can palm press on the inner and outer thigh. So working towards the hip and back out. And if you want to move to a more focused pressure, we can rotate the hands so the thumbs works down each side. Back up. And then again, we just like to smooth that focused work out by pressing with our palms. In addition to just pressing in, we can also kind of curve and press outwards. So this time I'm sort of lifting the muscles up away from the bone, pressing them towards the torso. We can also stabilize at the knee with one hand and with my outer hand I'm going to use my palm to press onto the back of the hamstring Just walking towards the hip and back down towards the knee and then I can also use my thumb to press into the midline so this is a great way if you weren't able to get that third inner sin line earlier you can come and trace it now because you have much more access to that sun line. So after we do the thumb presses again, just closing with nice palm presses. And then we can do the same thing for the calf. I'm gonna use flat fingers and just pull backwards making a nice flat surface, really getting the full muscle belly here. And then to get more targeted, I'm gonna curl my fingers in, so kind of like that. And then really work that inner line. So following the center of the muscle belly down to the Achilles tendon and then back up. And then we'll transition to flat fingers again, just trying to smooth over that work. Going down and back up. And then just like we did on this thigh, instead of just pulling towards us, we can actually kind of press the muscles away. So this time kind of pulling the calf muscle away from the bone. So from here, we'll push the knee towards the head, and this is gonna bring the leg up. And I'm gonna kick out my kickstand, and you may just gently move their arm a little bit further out. And then I'm gonna place the client's leg into my holster, so kind of just my outer hip. And then that frees my hand to come just below their knee, and my other hand is now free. So we're gonna do some nice circles here, just opening up the hip and leg. And I like to go up, out, around, and down before going up again. So kind of moving on an outward circle direction. And then after doing that a few times, we're gonna bring the knee just kind of straight towards the chest. And you can pin the opposite thigh just to get a nice stretch. How's that feel? So by holding down the opposite thigh, you prevent the hips from kind of rotating towards the head, which is gonna um, prevent the client from getting as deep of a stretch. Additionally, you can use your hand to walk up and down, to palm press up and down the client's opposite extended leg. Or if you have really long legs like me, you can um, use your back leg to pin at their ankle and then go towards there. So a few different options. Stretching the client's leg. We'll untuck 
and come into our circle, circle pattern just to loosen the leg up. And then I'm gonna let the leg fall out a little bit. So just as much as possible, try and relax your leg. And I'm just gonna stabilize their leg against my calf. And this is another way that you can work the inner thigh. Maybe the figure four wasn't comfortable. Maybe the client doesn't have a lot of mobility or it hurts their knees. This is a way to work a little bit more supported into that inner thigh. And after we've done a few palm presses in and out, I'll bring the leg back to neutral, do a few more circles here, and then we can come to stretch the hamstring. So to do that, I'm gonna place the client or partner's um, ankle over my shoulder, and then I'm gonna press their leg towards their head. So you'll notice her knee is naturally bending and that's okay. If you wanna get a tighter or stronger stretch on the back of the leg, you can slowly um, extend the leg. And then depending on how flexible they are, maybe you just support underneath the ankle, maybe you pin with your opposite leg. How's that feel now? So a couple different options. You can bring the leg out. And again, we can end with some circles here. And then I'm gonna sit down to press into the back of the hamstring using my feet. So you can splay the toes outwards. If it feels a little off balance to try and work both feet at once, you can put one of your legs down and just press the foot into the back of the thigh and hamstrings. I'm gonna switch legs a little bit so I can work into the hamstring attachment. So I'm just gonna gently push her knee towards her torso and bring it back down. And as I work down each rotation, getting closer and closer to that hamstring attachment before finally pulling out. So extending the leg out and down, and then we'll repeat the same thing on the opposite leg. So before transitioning to the other leg, I like to reset the hips, just scooping underneath both ankles, rocking back, splaying the legs out, and then we'll switch so my Inner hand is underneath the ankle. My outer hand is underneath the knee. I step into a nice lunge. And we come into a figure four. I'll traction at the knee just to decompress the hip. And then using my opposite hand to place my, to pin at the opposite hip. And one hand on the bent leg just above the knee. And focus on doing some palm presses up and down the thighs. Gently opening the inner abductors. You can also make a little butterfly press using both of our hands. Fingers placing out. Wrists are together. Or we can work down the inside of the calf and into the sole of the foot. open the leg just a little bit more. So moving the ankle of the bent leg out. I'm gonna position myself in between the client's legs 
And we're gonna paddle boat by pressing the feet into the back of the hamstring and the inner thigh, working towards and away from the knee. And so just a note, one hand is kind of stabilizing at the ankle of the extended leg, and then the other hand is kind of tractioning down on the bent leg. So depending on how flexible they are and how long your legs are, you can really kind of press more in, or you can really pull. You can even use both hands to grasp on the bent legs, ankle, and it gives some extra pressure here if maybe you're working on a big person and you really want to kick your feet into the backs of their hamstrings. And once you return back to the fold of the knee, we're going to tuck the leg over both of our legs, bringing the ankle to the far side, scooting ourselves a little bit more towards the outside. We'll begin to row using flat fingers, working up towards the hip and back down. And then we can also curl the fingers to get more targeted work. And then returning back to flat fingers once more. And then we'll do some nice fist pounding just to loosen the thigh. And we'll fold the knee upwards, bringing the foot onto the ground, repositioning so we can stabilize using our knees on either side of the ankle. So from here, we'll squeeze into either side of the thigh. We can also rotate our hands a little bit out more to bring our thumbs in, working on the IT band and the adductors. And after we do that focused work, it's always good to palm press it back out. And in addition to kind of pressing the muscles in, we can also squeeze and scoop the muscles out, up towards the torso. We can palm press to the back of the thigh. So again, this is a great way to work that third inner sin line if you weren't able to get to it earlier. We'll come back after palm presses with our thumb press up that midline and just stabilizing with my inside hand at the knee and we'll close by palm pressing and we'll come to work on the calf using flat fingers we'll pull and rock backwards We'll curl our fingers inwards more so we're able to get more focus pressure on that inner sun line. Following my flat fingers once more. Down and back up. So squeeze the calf towards the torso, away from the bone. And then we'll press the knee towards the chest so we can come up into our lunge, placing the client's foot into our holster so that outer hip crest 
So from here we'll start to rotate the leg and you can either use both hands kind of below the knee or you can stabilize on the opposite leg, just rotating and circling. And after we've done a few circles, we're gonna bring the knee towards the chest. And this is where it's really nice to have a pin on the opposite leg, just so you can stabilize. If you notice that you need to widen your lunge, just sneak your toes a little bit closer up. That's fine. You can also use your bottom back leg to hook over the client's extended ankle. And now I can use my hand to press down the top of the thigh on the extended leg. How's that feel? So releasing, we'll come to do some gentle circles again. And then this time we're gonna let the client's knee just kind of splay outwards. I'm gonna support with my calf and then we'll palm press into the inner thigh. And again, this is great if the figure four is just not comfortable, maybe their knees are sensitive, or they're just not that flexible. You can still get some tar targeted work into these muscles while helping the client feel more supported. And after doing a few sets of palm presses, well, again, we just come back to our rotation. And then from here, we can bring the client's ankle above our shoulder and either kind of extending the leg, get a nice stretch. They're super flexible. Maybe easiest just to bring the ankle towards their head. Gonna stretch in the back of the leg. And coming back down. From here, I'll sit down, and then I'm gonna use my foot to press into the back of the hamstring, using both my hands at the ankle, and I can move the knee towards and away from the torso as a means to work all the way down the hamstring into that hip attachment before pulling the leg straight. So we'll reset the hips by scooping underneath the ankles, just tractioning and pulling backwards. And then from here, we'll stand up and walk both legs towards the head. So I'll traction the legs backwards to reset the hips, and then we're gonna stand up walking the client's feet towards their torso. And then from here, I'm just gently gonna press my knee into the back of their knee to bring one leg into the chest and the other leg into the chest. And we'll do some nice little rainbow circles, just little half circles. This is opening up the low back. Feels really yummy. We can let the legs fall to one side. We'll step out and just move the arm and get a nice half spinal twist here. And this is a great way to do a spinal twist that's really supported. If you have clients that are more flexible, I can show you in some of our other videos how to do another variation of the spinal twist. So I'm pressing on the opposite shoulder just to kind of accentuate that twist. And then pushing the knees towards the torso and head to kind of get them to come back up. I'll bring my hands underneath the ankles and slowly lower my knees into the back of the hamstrings. And I can rock her legs back towards me and towards her chest. It's a way to adjust where my knees are going. How's that feel? This is a deep hamstring move. Really great for runners. And then to come out of this, we'll slowly extend the leg, but just be careful as you extend the leg because you don't want to kind of like pop it into extension. So I always like to support with my 
foot underneath the knee. Try and relax your leg as much as possible. Yeah. And then we'll do the same thing. Extend, 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 but I'm gonna just guide it. Soften that extension. And then we'll pull to straighten. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you'll stay tuned to some of the other videos that we have in this Thai massage series. Again, my name is Mira Hoffman. You can find out more about me and my practice at mirahoffman.com. And you can find our full series at wellnessplus.tv. Wishing you all the best. Goodbye. With hundreds of videos that you can stream on virtually any device, to help you reduce stress, lose weight, or just improve your health and well being overall. At wellnessplus.tv, we are dedicated to helping you on your health and wellness journey. Join wellnessplus.tv to find hundreds of videos to help you improve the health of your body and your mind. Wellnessplus.tv Get well, feel better.